Hey everyone, Matt Pasarczyk from RazorEmporium.com. Today to do a review of the new Above the Tie Windsor Stainless Steel Safety Razor. Let's get started. Okay, we are all lathered up with my go-to, I say it every time, Parasso White for sensitive skin. It's always my go-to for new product reviews. Uh, we are going to get loaded up now with the Windsor and a Permasharp blade. I used a Simpsons Berkeley brush today. It's, my, it's been my new go-to brush uh, here in the shave studio. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the most mild base plate of our three-piece system here, which is the M plate, M for mild, and get that situated. A little tight on the blade to be loaded, but that can maybe be a good thing. Uh, Stan asked me to review this, and he said that they did make several changes with the cap coming over and overhanging more to increase stiffness. Um, and this new model is uh, 185 for the satin finished Windsor. And then I think it's 299 for the set with the two extra base plates. So here goes the mild, um, mild plate. Nice. Pretty efficient. Now Stan and I go back quite a quite a ways. I don't know if everyone knows the history. I'm not, I'm gonna immediately switch to the regular while we're talking here. Um, so, you know, Razor Emporium started in 2010, and Stan was one of my first uh, kind of partners I worked with. He used to do consignment through Razor Emporium, so he would find vintage razors and. He would photograph them and we would sell them for him. And then um, when they sold the customer, he would actually ship them directly to the customer. And we would take a small consignment fee and send him the rest of the money. Um, well, that's pretty nice. This is the regular plate. Yeah, I like that. A little closer. It's not tugging as much. I think the, the mile was just a little too mild for my beard. Plus, I have like three or four days worth of growth, I think, three days. Yeah, nice and efficient. I like it. But very quickly, Stan um, started his own business. He started Above the Tie to do his own razor sales. And then, of course, he came out with razor models. And I'm really happy for Stan. And I'm really happy to see how much uh, growth he's done and how much he's contributed to the wet shaving world. So happy to finally do a review of one of his products here. Very, very nice. I would say the glide is, is pretty good. It's not the best I've ever felt. The, it's not like it's just, you know, flying through the hair, but it's not, um, it's not overly aggressive. It's not feel, making my face feel raw or, you know, hurting or anything. I am going to switch out again to now the heavy plate just to see where I lie on his standard here. Now, one interesting thing to note, I've, I've noticed the cap is sticking onto the, onto the, um, the blade is sticking onto the cap here. It's not popping off. Um, I don't think it's a big problem. But I do want to note that because some people may think that's um, an issue. And I only say that because our first round of ambassadors that we did that on, and some people didn't like that. I don't think it's a big deal. It actually makes changing the guards really fast. Another thing that the, his new cap does is it covers up the blade ends, the tabs. So some people, again, have problems with that when the blade tabs stick out. 
I know some people say they get nicked by it. So the heavy, I can I can feel a difference between the heavy and um, the regular. I like it. I think I'm gonna stay on the heavy. So this idea of a of a trio is not new. Sorry, Stan, but Stan's a huge Gillette fan, so I think he'll understand. This came from Gillette. The idea of having three different razors um, that could provide for different shapes for different kinds of guys or maybe different days of the week if you haven't shaved for a while. And that was the Super Speed Trio, of course, the blue tip, the regular flare tip, and then the red tip for heavy. And he's, he's obviously um, taking a little inspiration from Gillette and also calling these mild, regular, and heavy. Now, one interesting thing on this razor is these lather holes. Um, I, from a machining standpoint, I can really understand the, the simplicity and the beauty of just drilling these holes in the, in the stainless steel and letting lather um, come through them. But they are definitely very unique. Interestingly is, when I use a, um, like let's say a fat boy or a slim, I like it more in the five or six range, you know, maybe tops. But I'm liking this on the heavier setting. Um, so it, it's, it's kind of interesting. I would say this is definitely maybe a little bit more mild than the, the Gillette settings. But the other nice thing is that the blade angle is not changing. So unlike the um, unlike the fat boy and the slim, or the toggle or whatever, the Gillette adjustables, as you change the number, it actually is pitching the blade higher and higher up inside the head. So it actually does change the angle. It's kind of getting, the blade starts out kind of flat and it gets pushed up like this. And that does increase the gap away from the safety bar, but also consequently increases the angle. Now one thing I may want to do with this is switch down to the regular for my neck, because my neck is always the most sensitive, especially my lower neck. I'll go back down to the regular R plate for my lower neck. That's nice. So the idea of switchable base plates, obviously I think Gillette may have kind of pioneered in some sense, but they had a full razor, not just a, a three piece. And now we have Rockwell and other manufacturers doing the same thing with different base plates. Um, I think it's an interesting concept. Uh, I think you're gonna tend to find one you really like other ones may not get used as much. And it doesn't take that long to switch. Maybe if you're on the go or in a hotel or something traveling, you may, wanna, you may not wanna bring these other plates and just choose your favorite. But if you have the time, I think tailoring your shave a little bit is not such a big deal. And it's worth it. Even on an adjustable razor, um, I don't see the setting as like, oh, that's my setting. I see it as, okay, my cheeks need this, my neck needs this, you know, maybe even on my goatee, see like my goatee is the heaviest area of my face. I'm going to switch back to the heavy plate to really cut through the coarse hair there. So, I mean, obviously it's not as quick as a, as an adjustable razor, but it's, it's not the end of the world either. It takes just a few seconds to, to switch it up.
Now, one thing I always do is I'm always someone who, who unscrews a three-piece and cl cleans out the lather, and then I will reuse it. So I know some people think I, l I rinse too much. Now, this is my daily razor at home. I probably wouldn't rinse this much, but you got to remember, I'm auditioning these razors for the very first time, and I don't want a buildup of lather to be something that um, changes my perception of the razor. Now, I, I will say that as beautiful as these lather holes were, I didn't find the razor was clearing out um, fast enough, personally. And it's, not a, it's not a big dig. It's not the end of the world. I think if you had a, a water full of, uh, or sorry, a sink full of water and you swished it, you probably would be okay. I'm someone who likes running water. Um, I may say that's wasteful. <laughs> but one secret about Razor Emporium is that this water we actually recycle and reuse. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't really mind um, using it a couple times. We actually will have filter it and clean it up and so zero impact there guys. Yeah, not too bad. I'm just kind of giving a little post shave feel. Generally a, a good a good razor. Um, I don't think it's my favorite razor of all time, but it was very nice. I would say it's um, I do like that it's interchangeable and you could curtail it for different areas of your face. It was relatively smooth. I don't think it's as smooth as a polished razor. Um, it is. It looks like it's media blasted from just the finished look. It looks like it was glass bead blasted or sand blasted. That's my guess. If you're Stan or if you know for sure, let me know if I'm wrong, but that's my guess just by looking at it. Um, but very nice. Very nice overall. Pull a little post-shave balm. So above the tie, they've been making stainless steel razors for a couple years now and people seem to really like them and they do really well. And we hope that uh, this video may start a whole wave of us carrying above the tie on Razor Emporium and see how they do for us. Leave a comment below if you like what you saw, if you've used the Windsor or another above the tie razor, or if you have a, an opinion on the whole system idea of having three different base plates, let me know in the comments below. And if you do leave a comment, you are instantly enter to win this. Behold, in all of its glory, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Just leave a comment and we choose one winner every week and we send a free t-shirt out to you. It's pretty cool, right? Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time here at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving.